It is Friday. That can't be helped. All I can do for you is to begin the Friday quiz. <gasps> Question one. Take a good look at your choice of clothes, your taste in music, and if you have one, your mobile phone. What do these three things say about you? If you don't think that these three things can possibly say anything about you, ask your average teenager. Question two. Whatever these things say about you, how much does it matter? A. To you. B. How much do you think it would matter to the average teenager? 3. Measured purely in terms of practical actions, what you do about these things that you're thinking about, um, what priority would you say you give every day to the Who is Jesus question? as opposed to the how do I look question. What priority does the who is Jesus question get over the how do I look question? Question four, from Acts chapter two, verses 14 to 36, give one reason for the who is Jesus question to get top priority. Acts chapter two, 14 to 36, one reason for the Who is Jesus question to get top priority. Question five, well, who is Jesus? Think of as many different answers from as many different sorts of people as you possibly can. And write them all down. Question six, from Acts chapter two again, how has God answered the Who is Jesus question? Question seven. Peter's hearers on the day of Pentecost have already given an answer to the Who is Jesus question, which he now invites them to reconsider. How was their answer given? What form did it take? And question eight. How did God get the last word? And what does he say with it? This is on the who is Jesus question. How did God, does God, get the last word and what does he use it for? What does he say with it? Again, looking at Acts chapter 2 verses 14 to 36. And once you have committed that answer to paper, or whatever other medium you use, um, it is time to run a flag from the flagpole of your house, emblazoned with the emblem, I have completed the Friday quiz because, you know, you have